What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more aha, uh -huh. and we're returning to their 2002 album Lifelines, and the next tune in the playlist is Time and Again. It's a phrase that immediately makes me think of cyclical or maybe repetitive behavior or perhaps experiences or feelings such that every time a certain situation or context arrives, someone or something um, comes through with an action or provides an experience. Um, now that could be positive or negative, you know, every time you're down in the depths, time and again, someone could come to emotionally save you, or, you know, you could try to get someone to change their damaging behavior, but time and again, they disappoint you, they let you down, they return to that cycle. Uh, so I feel like it could come across in a number of different ways, and it could it could be like an experience. It's that like every time I get to this place, whether that's a physical or you know a figurative place, um, they have a certain experience. So time and again, they can rely on that situation to provide you know whatever type of experience they're looking for, or you know perhaps not looking for. So um, again, it could go a few different ways, but it makes me think about some sort of phenomena that is either recurring or maybe even cyclical. So let's find out. This is AHA. The tune is Time and Again and it's on their 2002 album Lifelines. <laughs>
be stopped. It's an irrepressible vocal force. song. I thought that was really fantastic. I, it felt progressive. It felt like it was a wave that just kept getting bigger and stronger. The way Morton would just keep pushing those different lines higher and higher. Um, just unbelievable. Lyrically, it seems like it started with natural forces, like, you know, what the, the wind has always been and what the stars have always been and sort of these natural conditions. And then it seemed to indicate that the situation had changed. That's, you know, it's no longer like that. Now, you know, I don't see the stars anymore. I, you know, trust isn't something that um, is there. Like, um, what was the other line? There was another line that was something like that. Like, love is something that can't be, or like, I can't find it. I think it was that can't be. Um, so yeah, it sounds like there is, there has been a notable shift, at least in the perception of the narrator um, and you know things that were time and again a certain way now suddenly seem like they're maybe not that way anymore um, so yeah I it definitely got to listen to it some more but ultimately it's it was interesting that it transitioned from sort of natural forces to the types of experiences or emotions or interactions that happen between people trust or lack thereof love or lack thereof um, so yeah, I'm not quite sure, you know, if I'm reading that right, that, you know, things which were the same time and again suddenly <clears throat> are not playing out in the same way or why that is. Um, but yeah, sonically, I really did enjoy that. And as I said, it felt like a journey. It didn't feel like, you know, sort of a beginning, a middle, and then an ending that was sort of like the middle. It felt like progressive, like it kept growing. So in any case, let me know what you think of this one. I'll see you next time. Peace.